Hello guys, welcome to Wisdom Trainings. This is Abhishek and in this video we're going to start about Jmeter sampler. Okay, so as we have installed Jmeter and we have already learned about Chrome developer tools, the next thing is to start working with Jmeter and say using those things that we've learned in Chrome developer tools here, right? So first thing first, we need to open Chrome. Let's have Chrome. Now here we need to open developer tools. So let's just open developer tools as well. I'll keep it open here, right? Now coming back to Jmeter, what all things we are going to need? First of all, we need to add a thread group. We'll learn about it in some time, like in the next, uh, coming videos in this play playlist. But first, let us just discuss about something that is very basic. That is a HTTP request sampler. So what is a sampler? Sampler is something that generates the user action. And in this case, HTTP request, we are just generating a request that is being generated by the browser as well, right? So we will be replicating the same thing here. Now, over here in Chrome, first of all in the developer tools, move to the network tab if, if you are not, right? Then clear everything out. Now come back to the browser and request a page. For example, we would be going to reddiff.com. I'll hit enter. If we go to the developer tools, you guys can see that there is a request, right? Now this is the request that we are going to use but how let us just see that first of all we would be requiring the https i'll copy this and we would be providing it here in the protocol part paste it come back to the request and copy the next part that is www.redif.com do not copy anything in between right paste it here after the dot com part if there is something that needs to be copied for example there is a forward slash simply paste it here in the path right now these three things are the things that we have provided but these things are not sufficient the next thing is we need to provide the port number right so on what port number the website is interacting right so by default a http website interacts on port number 80 and it is a https website so it is interacting on port number 443 right these are the two defaults Right now, I can show you about a normal HTTP website as well. That is, say, jmeter-archive.org. Right? And I just specified a wrong mistake. jmeter-archive.org. Right? This is a non-HTTPS website. So, if I show this, let us just refresh that page first. Right? Here, now you guys can see that this is a port number 80 request. Okay. This means that this is a HTTP request. So there are two defaults for HTTPS 443 for HTTP request 80, right? Make sure that you're specifying the correct port number. And in case if the website has changed a port number that would be reflected over here and here, right? So over here, let us just come back to Jmeter and provide the port number 443. And this is done. Now we can name this request as well. That is Rediff Home. Right? Now let us just move to the next part. So coming back to this, we need to click on money link. Right? I'll just close the other tab. We don't need that tab. And by default, its developer tools would also be closed. Now here, in coming back to the developer tools, flush everything out. This is the clear button. Simply flush everything, whatever is there on the screen. Come back to web page and click on money. The moment you click on money, a request would be generated here. Right? This is the request. Now you need to replicate the same request in Jmeter. How? Let us just see that. Right click over the thread group and go to add and then sampler and then HTTP request sampler. This is rid of money. So we can simply replicate it here. Now the protocol. Protocol by default would be HTTPS for Rediff. Not for all the websites, but yes, for Rediff, they are on HTTPS, they are on SSL. So they would be implementing this thing. Right? Now the next thing is this. Again the same thing. 
you need to copy the first part that is uh, say dot com part right whatever the complete url is in between the uh, say this forward uh, double forward slash and the first forward slash anything between that simply copy that right and here this is done port number is 443 by default so let us just specify that we'll cross check there and this there right so over here you guys can see that this is the port number 443 which is correct now the fourth say the last thing is this path copy this path including the forward slash and paste it here right this is done now we can say generate another request as well if you would want to say i would want to go to my portfolio or say i would want to see daily gainers right right click here sorry do not right click here simply open this link go back to developer tools this is the daily gainers right now over here you guys can see that there are a lot of things now what all things are here let us just see that first thing is https copy this and paste it here in a new sampler so add a sampler http request sampler do not add any other sampler you won't be able to use it right so right click add sampler http request sampler and here protocol is https then the say server name server name is this moneymetric.redf.com right so we'll be providing it here next thing is port number port number is 443 by default right so 443 and 443 this is done now the path what is the path the path is this is this the complete path that we are going to copy no actually we'll be going till the first question mark copy this and here paste it now what about the things remaining simply start copying after the question mark do not include the question mark copy this and click on add from clipboard automatically it would be adding something just keep it there right now this request has been replicated as well this is done right so this was this for this video thank you